name is Elaine Brannan and I am the Director of Women of Faith and we are excited to have the opportunity to highlight this ministry of Faith Church. Uh, we have many activities designed to help women grow in their relationship with God, uh, receive uh, encouragement and enjoy fellowship with other women, helping us to become the women God has called us to be. I'd like you to hear from two ladies who are going to share how Women of Faith has impacted them. Good morning, I'm Denise Gontraman, and I just want to share an experience, um, the experience that I've had with the Women of Faith here at Faith Church. Our family, um, we started coming to Faith Church about 11 years ago, and my girls were uh, five and two, and I was new to the area, um, and I was looking for a women's group. I was a stay-at-home mom, and I wanted to connect, make friends. I was looking for women my age, um, hopefully with children similar ages, and I was also looking for maybe a break uh, during my days. Um, my husband traveled a lot for work, and I just wanted some adult um, interaction. And I thought, well, maybe women's Bible study. Maybe that would be something good for me to get involved in. And during the day, it would give me a break from the girls for just a couple hours, maybe. And, and um, I could come back refreshed and be a better mom. Well, I quickly found out that there was not an option for Bible study for me at that time with childcare. And that was all right because they had something else called friendship circles at that time. And there was a sign up one Sunday for friendship circles and I, I didn't know anybody at the church. So I just found a friendship circle located, a meeting spot located near our home. And I signed up and I was praying through the whole process. and I was thinking, oh God, I know you're going to have some great friends at this friendship circle for me, and they're going to be young moms, and they're going to have young kids, and we're going to be great friends, and our kids are going to grow up together at Faith Church. And um, it came time to go to friendship circle for the first time, and the hostess was lovely and very nice and welcoming, and, and as the ladies were coming in, there wasn't anybody my age, and I started to feel a little uncomfortable, and but the ladies were really nice, and, and they were moms a little bit older than myself. They were moms that had college kids. They were moms that had married kids. And there were ladies that were grandmas. And um, I started praying, God, are you sure I, I'm supposed to be here? I don't really fit here. Is this where I'm going to find my friends? And I just felt this peace that just stay keep coming back, and I did. I kept going back, and we, we did a Bible study together, we would share meals together, and these ladies really invested in me. And they would share their wisdom with me. And in and, and Bible study, I was new to a structured Bible study situation, and I was just amazed at their humility and what they've learned and their willingness to share with me maybe mistakes they've made in the past, how they wish they would have done things. And I hung on their words, and I grew in my faith walk. And um, one of these ladies actually invested in me and got to know me, and she encouraged me to go on my first mission trip to Mexico. As a young mom, I left my kids at home and went to Mexico, and it really changed me. And um, another lady in the group, she took a point to meet my kids and look for them at church on Sunday. And she was even a Sunday school teacher for them at different times. And they invested in my family and in our relationship. It became more of a family type relationship at Faith Church. And it was an extension of our small little family unit. And it became so much greater. And I thought, what if I didn't listen to that Holy Spirit's nudging and saying, go to this friendship circle. Your friends might not be what you think they're going to be, but God said, I've got a greater plan. I've got something bigger than what you could think 
that would serve you, that you think would be really great for you. His plan was even better. I, I had a whole extended family, um, stand-in moms, stand-in grandmas, stand-in aunts. It was, it was just so, so wonderful. So I'm so happy that God did this for us and for me. Hi, my name is Sarah Dolan, and I've attended Faith Church for about three years now. I first started coming out to Women of Faith events uh, through the invitation of my mother-in-law. The busier my life gets, the more I desire a break from my regular routine. I love being able to come out and to fellowship with other women and just enjoy their company and be able to uplift and serve one another. I attended this year's spring retreat, which impacted me both practically and spiritually. The Mary and Martha themed morning focused on how to declutter our hearts and homes. We had a professional organizer come in the morning and teach us about how practical, uh, practical tips about how to get rid of the excess stuff laying around our house. Importantly, I learned a lot about the art of blending my prayer life with my busy life at home. Clutter in our hearts represents lots of stuff, good and bad, that fills up our lives, but it doesn't leave enough room for God. The women shared how prayer and worship can actually remove the clutter in our hearts. And after having children, I felt like my life was so busy, um, I often faced guilt with um, not being able to wake up early in the morning and have enough time for prayer. I learned through the retreat that you can pray throughout the day and different tips on how to worship God and just be able to incorporate that in my life without feeling so busy. And after I got home from the retreat, I just felt like I was 10 pounds lighter. I went home and I took all this stuff out of my house and just gave bags and bags to the Salvation Army. Whatever age or season of life you are in, we have something for you. Keep your eye on the bulletin for upcoming events. I invite you to come join us and be blessed.